Department of Radio Diagnosis presenting our paper on the role of multi-detector CT in the imaging features of diaphragmatic hernias under the guidance of Dr. Sonali Kadam. The protrusion of abdominal viscera into the thoracic cavity through an opening which may be congenital or acquired is defined as diaphragmatic hernia. The protrusion of abdominal viscera is a result of deficient or weakness of the muscular layer of the diaphragm. The aim of this presentation is to study the role of multi-detector CT in the imaging features of diaphragmatic hernias and the objective is to present the radiological findings of interesting cases of diaphragmatic hernias. This is a retrospective case series with a total cases of 5 over a period of 12 months from May 2023 to May 2024. A total of 5 cases of diaphragmatic hernias were referred from the emergency and the surgical department for multi-detector CT, which were retrospectively studied. All the MDCT scans were performed on Fujifilm 128 slice MDCT machine in the radiology department. The first case is of a 12-year-old boy who was admitted to the emergency department with dyspnea. The patient presented with drop in the SpO2 levels. The MDCT findings were a large defect in the left dome of diaphragm with herniation of the body and the fundus of the stomach, distal transverse colon, splenic flexure, few small bowel loops and the mesenteric and omental fat. The CT morphology represents a left diaphragmatic hernia. second case was a 44-year-old male, a known case of myxoid pleomorphic liposarcoma, who was admitted with the complaints of sudden onset breathlessness. The MDCT findings showed left kidney, splenic flexure and the retroperitoneal fat in the left lower hemithorax herniating through a defect in the diaphragm. The left kidney is seen abutting the greater curvature of stomach and displacing the spleen inferiorly. Left renal artery is seen arising from the aorta supplying the ectopic kidney traversing the diaphragm. The third case was a 60-year-old male who was admitted to the emergency department with breathlessness and dysphagia. The patient presented with elevated creatinine levels, metabolic acidosis and an SpO2 of 92%. On MDCT, there was a defect, a large defect in the anterior portion of the dome of diaphragm in the central tendon region with herniation of the fundus and part of body of the stomach, the ascending and the transverse colon and the omentum into the pericardial sac in the anterior mediastinum. These CT features were suggestive of an intrapericardial diaphragmatic hernia. Case 4 is a 52-year-old female patient presenting with vomiting and breathlessness. The MDCT findings were a large defect in the right posterior crux of diaphragm with herniation of stomach, transverse colon, tail of pancreas, splenic vein, and omental fat through it. These CT features are suggestive of a Bokdalek hernia. The fifth case is a 16-year-old boy who was bought by his parents and admitted to the emergency department with dyspnea. The patient presented with drop in SpO2 levels. On MDCT, there was a defect in the anterior portion of the dome of diaphragm in the right paracardiac region 
with herniation of the transverse colon, small bowel loops and omentum into the anterior mediastinum. CT findings suggestive of a morgagnes hernia. Congenital diaphragmatic hernias are more common than acquired diaphragmatic hernias. The commonest defect is the posterolateral diaphragmatic defect, which is Bogdalek's hernia, anterior defect, that's Morgagni's hernia, and defect of the central tendon and septum transversum, leading to peritoneo pericardial hernia. Acquired diaphragmatic hernia is typically associated with penetrating or a blunt trauma. Diaphragmatic hernias usually have a left-sided preponderance primarily due to the presence of liver on the right and early closure of the pleuroperitoneal canal on the right side. So MDCT is an accurate method of detecting various types of diaphragmatic hernias as it clearly demonstrates the anatomical site, contents and the possible complications if any. Multi-detector CT depicts free edge of the disrupted diaphragm, demarcating the defect and the intrathoracic herniation of the viscera and the contents, along with two signs. One is the collar sign, which is the focal constriction of the herniated bowel or the omentum, and the dependent viscera sign, in which the viscera lies dependent against the posterior chest wall. To conclude, Diaphragmatic hernias are common. Although diagnosed incidentally sometimes, the recognition of both benign and life-threatening manifestations is essential to plan appropriate management. Other references of the paper presentation. Thank you.